This time on the now thing. Me. Hello. Banjo. <laughs> Intro! <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> so, the one thing that yeah, pissed me off too. about Michael Bay's movie... Back to tri If you remember the discussion from yesterday, yeah. Transformers talk. Or two days ago. What? Oh, yeah. depending. Uh, or a while. Who knows? Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Ugum, Ugum behind that. Yeah. They fucking oh, yeah. they kill Jazz in the first Michael yeah, Bay movie. Yeah, I know. Movie. Uh, that like that actually bothered me because in like the original cartoon, he's one of the, he's one of he the survives it all. He start no, he survives all. He gets eaten by Unicron and they actually free him. Yeah. Him, Cliff Jumper, which is the Red Bumblebee, and Jazz yeah. are the only ones of like the original. Ones that yeah, land on Earth like, that kind of survive. Transformer movie where they're like, "Hey, look, that red bumblebee guy. That's a bad one." Yeah. Why? Also, Jetfire in the 1980s show, yeah. uh, is the guy that they find in the Arctic that they unfroze, that uh, was working with Starscream as another scientist. Is the original Jetfire? Because he was like him and well, Starscream was a scientist originally. He was not one of the original Decepticons. Nope. Yeah. And. Uh, Jetfire or Jetfire? Jet Scream? Starscream? Uh, thank you. Starscream Star is so like flippy floppy. Like, I love Starscream. He, he wants to take over, but he's bad at it. Yeah. Basically. He's not bad at it, he's just. He's bad at it. He's a, he's a pussy. Like, yeah. He's actually That's like. That a means he's bad at it, Chad. No, but he does take over. Because when I, he actually please, fights please. on Astro Train, he actually kicks all their asses. Yeah, he's actually like good at fighting. It's like they're afraid of him. Like, he's actually, like, good at fighting. It's just, he's, he's actually scared of Megatron. That was an adventure. Everyone's afraid of Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> now, Leonard Nimoy does the voice of him in the 1980s movie. Uh, I'm of who? so happy. Of uh, Megatron Galvatron. Really? Yes. Is that? Really? Uh, Ow. Damn it. Yeah, you, that, I'll what the fuck you, is going on right now? He's not oh. giving you the boots. I'll show you next time. One thing when I'm you come to my house, I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, I'm movie. like. Because Orson Welles is Unicron. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Man, Orson Welles supposed to be Darth Vader. Yeah, he was. James Earl Jones. Have you like... seen the video of the actors? Because they were just, before they decided that they're gonna have. Um, I feel bad because I forgot his name now. Got actually voices Darth Vader. Before oh, they, James Earl Jones? Yeah, before they had him be the voice. Yeah, he's the actual guy in the, the guy in the suit. Oh, yeah, he yeah. sounded so bad. Yeah, he sounds so bad. So, like, well, because you're actually just kind of like... But then again, back... scary at all. But then again, back then, they're like, what's this guy supposed to sound like? Yeah. Like, they didn't know back then. They're like, yeah, what the they, fuck like, is... Yeah. And Darth Vader technically has like one of like the best... Like, one of the most interesting ways to in introduce your villain early on in the movie. Because it's... All you see is... There's a ship, it's being boarded, there's a firefight, yeah. there's a lot of smoke, but and like, out of nowhere comes this guy just draped in black. With a oh, he did the joke! He did the funny joke. Where he accidentally turned you into the washing machine? Yeah. Is it random that it does that? Yeah, he'll, like, he'll do it once, but yeah, he does the random joke. Because when I played it originally, he never did it. That's why I was like, holy crap. When I played this one, I was like, yeah. I've never done this And before. that was a teaser to the next game. Yeah, well, um, they used that model again. Yeah. Well, no, like, the scary thing about Star Wars when the first movie came out, I was like, I watched, because I have, like, the big, like, fucking collector's, collector's edition would, thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, like, I even, like, just people that, like, grew up in the era, like, some people I worked with that are, like, in their 40s yeah. and, like, another co-walker of us. Like, when they saw that movie, yeah. the whole opening scene with that ship, they're like, that ship never stopped. It's like, you see this little ship come by, and then, like, you see this giant ship continue, yep. continue, yeah. continue. That's why they make a joke of that in Spaceballs. Right? Yeah. It was like, dun, dun, but it was like, people dun, dun, were like, dun, dun, what dun, the dun, fuck? Dun. They're like, because then in episode five, when they show the giant one, and then they show in the comparison, like, it, it, it's bigger. Yeah, <laughs> like no. There's a like, bigger one? I'm now, of the original fine, three, man. which, which are all your favorites? Original three? Yeah. Um... Cause my like I'm a diehard Empire Strikes Back. I like I like the dark Everybody concept. Like Return of the Jedi is the last one. Yeah, that's the one that that's gets the, thing, the least I, credit. I, I watched them when I was like young. That's weird. Because my parents actually just let me watch them when I was a kid. Because they, well, like they knew Episode One was coming out, so they actually just made sure I watched them. Um, because I just liked all of them though. 
Like, they all have one that's like okay. Like For just overall though, because I watched I, all at the I was same more time. interested in the um, return or the uh, Empire Strikes Back because the whole that's where you see the blowing up the Death Star was awesome. Yeah, like in the first one. Yeah. So I yeah. Was like, man, that was cool. Because he was actually just like it was literally that thing where he goes from being some pissy kid to like I blew up the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> So the, yours is Return of the, or Empire? Empire Strikes Back, yeah. Because Empire Strikes Back, remember correctly, is Daguba being trained by Yoda. Yeah. The Battle of Hoth. I like, the, I like City. the third one a lot too. Yeah, that's Hoth as well. Yeah. I forgot about that. Not Oops. The it's supposed to be absorbed. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because like the walkers on Hoth, the way they did it is, I like how the build up to the walkers they did it. Yeah. Like the whole like, what's that at a distance? And then yeah, that, yeah. and then like when like they show the scale of like a person to a walker as a kid, because I, I had the toy, mm. too. I'm like, wow, those are scary. Every time at work, I see like the really, really just, like large figurines. I'm like, oh, yeah, I really want that stormtrooper one. I keep um, seeing it. I'm like, I want to buy that. It's like forty bucks though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Even with a discount, that's not worth it. Yeah, I know. It's something like, it's like I have like a bunch of the helmets and stuff. Yeah, you do. But um. What's it called? I saw the like you, you saw the hot like wheels making now. of the Darth Vader helmet car. Yeah. They also made a Rebels helmet car, which looks like uh, obviously uh, like all the Rebel fighters helmets. That's cool. Uh, the to be honest, in Episode Five, the scene I like is probably the scene that is liked by a lot of people, but not the common amount. Because everyone would be like, they either like the battle in Cloud City or they like Hoff. My favorite scene in Episode 5 is actually the chase of the asteroid field. Where it's a falcon and the three I like everything fighters. on friggin' um, in Episode 6. Like everything on um, Endor. Yeah. Like the entire thing from when they land on Endor to the end of the Han Solo's such a dick. Fucking love Han Solo. Though. Pulls a gun on the Ewok. Yeah. Like, I actually just love Han Solo as a character. Um, he's an asshole. So he's actually just a bad person. <laughs> prequel movies, what are your favorite? Um, I have to say... Mine's I, number two. Which is, like, the one that gets hated on the most. The one where Obi-Wan goes to check on the cloning facilities. Oh, number two. Yeah. Attack of the Clones. Yeah, Attack of the Clones is a really good one. Because, like, like, I like you that have one. The, you have the, no, you have the, damn it. I you lost. have the arena scene. Which was another good, like, whole mm. Jedi fight intro yeah. shows Padme being not helpless. Like, my main thing about Episode 2 is, like, you actually see the Jedi be the Jedi. Because Episode 1, like, you see Jedi, you, you see, like, because from, like, 4, 5, and 6, yeah. you don't really know who the Jedi really were, like, as an organization. Yeah. So, Episode 1, you actually get the organization Yeah, well, one, like, I liked one a lot. Because, like, you, you see the council, you see kind of, like, the temple, yeah. and all that. I, I also, like, you see, like... You see, like, the different species, too. You, like, I really you also enjoyed change. the whole clone concept. Like, I love... I love, I love, I love see Django do shit yeah. too. I love the Kamino scene. That's why I like watching some of the like the animated series because you see Change, squad base stuff. Yeah. With clones and that just. Yeah. Yes, they're clones. Like, they're all duplicates, but like you actually see them in action. They're actually soldiers. And Count Dooku soldiers. did it in for me though. I thought Count Dooku was such a great villain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I had like I Sidious is my favorite. But like Count Dooku is like a villain. I like as a kid, no, I was no. like, man, that guy's no, really cool. No, no. But that's why I like the Clone Wars. Though is like when they showed Grievous in Episode Three, I was Change. really disappointed. Ty, oh, not because of um. God damn it! No. Yeah, when they showed Grievous in Episode Three, I wasn't disappointed about Grievous. I was like. He's literally in the movie for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and that was it. Yeah. And, like, they introduced someone who, like, was supposedly a Jedi killer. Uh, oh, it took, like, the two best, like, Ank and Obi-Wan to fight him. Blah, blah, blah. Like, they brought up that Obi-Wan has fought him tons of times, and Anakin's never seen him. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I want <laughs> to know more about you, but I don't. Uh, Same with Dooku. Yeah. That's what the Clone Wars show did justice for me, was Dooku and Grievous. Yeah. Did you start all three of them again? Yeah. Oh. I don't know why I don't get the chomp. 
Because I find, like, Grievous would never need his own movie. Ever. No. Same with Dooku. I, like, I know there's talks in the prequel, Dooku, like... Well, it's pretty evil him, though. Yeah. Which was it wouldn't be different. He'd just not be sinister. <laughs> but, um... Grievous was actually great in the Clone Wars. Like... Yes, even the original Cartoon Network Clone Wars, I loved how they, uh... Yeah. Did Grievous, too. They yeah, the guys him, who did Samurai Jack. They show how um, Hypori was such a great episode in the original one. Uh, <laughs> God, I freaks out. That really happened. Eh. Guys yeah. got smushed. What? That one guy got smushed. Oh. Yeah, he caused it. Yeah. So. Hey, of course he did. He walked out. Stop that. Um. 37 to 27. Like, are you enjoying the Rebel show? I haven't watched any of the Rebel show. Remember I saw the first oh, one? Oh, yeah, that's right. Keep up with it. You been... should. It's getting better. Do better. The thing is, like, life gets in the way of me being able to do a lot of other things. Like, I have only so much time to watch so many shows, and it just... Like, I stopped watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. like after the first Yeah, season, so did I. And I picked up, like, heavily all the DC shows that have been airing. So, Arrow, Flash, and Gotham, even though Gotham started off very, very slow, and, like, a lot of people dropped off first early episodes just because they didn't like how it wasn't Batman, but they never... Does it link in with their universe, or no? What? Is it linking in with the DC universe? Uh, like the, the other two that are on there right now? Yeah. Not necessarily. Okay. Uh, it's assumed to be an older one, because this is... Um, wow, okay. well, I don't think they really give a time frame, like, what year it is and that, but, like, it's talking about, like, cool shoes. Arkham opening again. Uh, Might have closed. It used to be a mental hospital that was closed, and then they're turning the bat. They reopened it as a jail for the criminally, or criminally, criminally insane. insane? It's, oh, when okay. they, it's when they're converting it from, like, the hospital to an actual prison for yeah. the criminally insane. Uh, and then there oh, was... Uh, Flash. Which... They're, like, for the first season, like, they got a lot of views in their first part of the season. Uh, so much that they even beat out Arrow, and the yeah. crossover episodes they had there were pretty good. And, and they're having more crossovers, they're saying. Are they? They're going to have more crossovers between Arrow and Flash. Maybe not this season, but maybe into the next season. Because they both have been confirmed for the next season. Okay. Uh, did you watch any Agent Carter? No, I I can't. Uh, it's one of the days that I can't watch it. Like, I, it was recorded, but apparently it was really good. I haven't gone back to watch it. See, I've just been following small things. Like, I've been following DC animated movies. I've been following Rebels. The Lando Rebel episode was oh, amazing. Yes. Like, you watched that one. Lando that Rebel. Was oh, it was so good. What was going on? I was instantly just like, well. Yeah, because I text you. I'm like, gotta watch Lando. Um. It's definitely, like, Rebels. Like, it's something either I'll show you at my house sometime, or, like, whenever we hang out, or if you can, like, specifically watch the Lando one. Yeah. Well, when I saw there's a teaser with him, I'm like, okay, I might watch that, but, like... I think, no, I, I hear I you, though. I've been... Like, movies, like, like, just before we were recording, I was talking about having watched the new uh, DC Thrones of Atlantis, where it introduces... Yeah. And, it, and it pretty much follows suit. It's supposed to take place right after, like, sometime after the events of war. Yeah, I saw, like, a clip of it, how he's, like, talking to a well, lobster the funny in is, a bar. Well, because the thing... Well, yeah. Uh, the funny thing about it is... Uh, it's before they consider themselves the Justice League. Like, yeah. They still haven't really decided that they're going to work together. Uh, so, like, there's a lieutenant or something that's like, oh, we're like, they're already, like, we've got this group of, like, super people that are, like, doing things. Like, we'll call them, like, I don't know, like, Justice League. And, like, I got a hanger for, like, their, their meetup or whatnot. But the thing is, uh, whoever was putting up the sign for the facility called them the Super Seven. Or the Super Six, it was at the time. Yeah. Uh, it's what Shazam said, wasn't it? In the end of the first one. Yeah, Super He Seven. made the joke about it. Yeah, that was the name that they gave the facility. And then they corrected it at the end of the movie. Spoiler, so it's not really a big... It's like movie. I've been... Um, uh, that took me a whole fucking You watched the original, years. like, DC Justice League animated series, right? Yeah. It's one of my great... It's, in my opinion, one of the greatest anime... Like, cartoon series. Next I like... Uh, I got a... 
Go to Freezy's Peak and still do that, cause goddamn it. Pop. Yeah. Fucking Mr. Vile taking forever. Whoa, that was funny. Fuck that guy. Bye! Bye! Bye.